Well, welcome, everybody. This is Kids Say the Smartest Thing, episode three or four? Three or five. Three or four. We've been doing this for a couple weeks now, so glad to have Marley back. Um, Marley, tell everybody what you've been doing lately. Well, I mean, I've been skateboarding, and then I've been playing Roblox. But why? To cure boredom. <laughs> <laughs> to cure boredom. Well, why are you bored? Because school's over. Woo! School's over, right? So that's what I was getting at. School's over. So I really am excited. We had finished out this end of this quarantine time. Uh, there was some stress on her end, and it was good. Um, and now you said to cure boredom, you're doing stuff. So Roblox and skateboarding and what have you. So let's talk about something today. Um, e either school or your friends or whatever. You, you know, I'll get to one here scenario and accept it. But how do you build trust with somebody? I guess I'm friends with them for a long time, or I get to know them or something like that. How do you get to know? Well, what does that mean, get to know them? Do you about school? So I don't need any names of people at school, but you got some friends from school. How did you end up building that relationship, and how did you build the trust between well, you and your friends? some of them I just met because, like, it's a school day, and I just was playing with them, and mm -hmm. then I just became really good friends with them. Or some my mom. Like, she was friends with their mom, so we got to meet them that way. Okay. Now, you've got some friends here. You've been here three years now. You are tried and true. You guys Roblox like 10, 12 hours a day, and I'm kidding. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but you guys Roblox, right? Um, do me a favor. Who did you meet this week? Oh, one of my online friends. An online friend. So let's talk about this. Again, we're talking about trust. Who's your online friend? I don't need a name, but who's your online friend, and where did that relationship come from? Well, um, I met her on Roblox. Okay, which is a video game, if my viewers don't know that. Um, there's a game on Roblox called Adopt Me, and there's a bunch of pets in it. And there's this one pet I wanted, and that's where I knew her from, because she gave me the pet. And then we just started playing Pet and Seek and Adopt Me together. And then we just started playing a bunch of other games together. We added each other on Roblox. Okay, so you became like in your queue, friend, friend queue, you had uh, this person. Where'd she end up being from? Egypt. Egypt. We live in the middle of Amarillo, Texas, and this person happened to be in Egypt, and we went through this long process of trying to figure out uh, safety and measures we wanted to take with online and our children. We didn't want to just start friending people and sending out information, so we were smart with it. Yeah. We learned the term catfish. We didn't want to catfish yourself or somebody else get catfished. We learned what that was. But over the time you've been playing this game, you built this trust in this relationship. You said you traded these uh, pets, right? Uh, so do me a favor. You got a, a, a neon pet, and you've got a legendary pet. You've got a what else is there? Um, so there's common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, legendary, neon, mega neon. <laughs> right. So so as you got these these pets in this game, and there's also ride pets and fly pets. So you get ones that you can ride, like the horse or, or whatever, and then you got a pet that flies around. So, but you built that up, and sometimes you would trade, and then they would trade you back, and that way you knew you could start to trust this person. Yes. And there's another one in there, you would get scammed. Yes. So scamming in a game is where they would befriend you, and something would happen, and then they, hey, let's trade, and they take something awesome, and you get nothing in return or whatever. Yeah. So basically it was a trust trade. With trust another... trade, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was another friend. I trust her and she scammed me for a pet. And she was gone, right? Yeah, she was gone. She blocked me and then unfriended me and unfollowed me and stuff. Okay. So when we talk about but this, though. I reported though, her because I followed her. You reported her and still got to at I least. Her. Okay. So here's what I like in the idea of this is trust. Trust is a very powerful thing between two people. Mm -hmm. You trust that me and mom have your best interests, right? Yes, we would like you to do certain things certain ways, and yes, we have certain rules, mm -hmm. but in the end game, when you hear and feel and understand from us, you trust that we're still doing something for your best interest. Yes. Um, but it can be broken. Your scammer befriended you, trusted you, you guys, and then poof, they're gone. You don't go back with that person. You're not going to exchange with that person anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Your friend down the street here. So y'all have been together for a few years now, and you guys trust each other. Uh, and I think 
wholeheartedly, if there was something she needed, you would go help her and vice versa. If you needed something, she would come help you. Mm-hmm. Um, your new friend in Egypt, uh, your, your neighbors next door, uh, me and mom, you know, when we have that trust, but once you break trust with somebody, it it's be, kind of hard to get it back. Why? Because then they'll have trouble trusting you since you might have broke their trust. And then it's a belief. And then it's like, do I really want to put the effort in? Did you just get burnt again or get hurt again? Um, This happens in work centers all the time. You and I might be partners in a work center and we might be working on a project and you and I come up with it. But when the opportunity comes around, you take that information and go give it to somebody and you get all the credit for it. And you hurt my trust. You burn my trust something like that and it happens all the time unfortunately in work centers so for this one here um i like the picture you chose this one behind us here is is the road the path and so i like this as a trust um uh, what was the word you used trust trade you guys have a trust trade in your game this one here i like is the path that you're on you trust that person but guess what it could be a dead end at the other end of it when they burn that trust or they break that trust from you. So it's always a fun way to see what you see and how you see it. Um, Trust can be an interesting one and and not one that's easy. It's earned. I don't just trust every person I think of or every person I see. I have to earn it. And you earn it, like you said, through those interactions, through that time spent getting to know them. Um, And then there's times when people take advantage of that. Unfortunately, they do. And so those are the ones that really hurt uh, in the long run. But um, as long as you stay true to yourself, as long as you stay true to being who you are and how you interact with people, you know, you can earn and build that trust with people out there. To everybody in TV land, we appreciate y'all coming back. This is episode three or four, I think it's four, of Kids Say the Smartest Things. Again, I'm Cable Rose, Let's Talk Leadership. This is Marley Rose, and this is how we do it. We'll see you guys next week. Catch you guys on a flip-flop.